Hi there. Good morning. I can't find my sign. <laughs> Tis the season for me having such a messy studio that I can't find my my sign. <laughs> so you're just going to have to trust me when I say, good morning. Welcome to Sunnyside Journals. I was working on something here and I thought I should turn on my camera so that you can see what I'm doing. I've been trying to figure out, let me move this because this is going to make sense in a minute. I've been trying to figure out how I was going to incorporate um, the ledger paper back into this ledger book. This is Mrs. Mrs. Cratchit's Holiday Household Book. <laughs> for anyone who's just new here today, this is what I've been working on for the past little while. I, because of the season that it is, I, I get up here just for a little bit every day. And um, here, I'll show you the cover. So there's the cover. It was an le old ledger book. I'm suspecting 70s or before because there was no barcode in it. There was no postal code for the address that was in it. Um, and there was no area code given for the phone number. So that tells me probably 70s, 60s, possibly before, but the paper was in lovely condition and not all that yellowed. Uh, anyhow, so uh, anyhow, I was trying to figure out because initially I thought oh, I'm going to make one whole side. I'm going to put the the papers back in. But then I thought that really takes up a lot of this fun room. So I got to thinking harder about how I was going to achieve putting ledger paper back into this cover. Here's our our little flip outs that we're going to be putting in on this side. So I've made it that way so that it's well anchored. So it will be glued down first, right there, glue it down. Then the sandpaper will come in, it'll get glued down, and then we will have these tip outs or flip outs or you know. So I was trying to figure out how can I incorporate ledger paper back in without it completely taking up an entire side and still leaving me room to have fun with little tuck spots pockets you know then i got to thinking what about if yes i get together these are these are the original papers i've trimmed them down a bit so they're not so bulky and they got all the numbers up in the corner, which I love. And then I thought, maybe Robert squirrels away a few papers here and there. And Mrs. Cratchit just tucks them away. She knows how precious they are. Writing paper for letters or lists or, you know, it's it can be precious. I remember even as a child, blank paper. Oh, was very precious to us. Fortunately, my father was a printer and he, and he would bring home extra leftover papers from the office and my brothers and I would snap it up for drawing on and painting on. All of us were artistic and uh, so usually when dad would come home from work, the extra papers would go into this little section in uh, the linen closet in our hallway. And we always knew 99 times out of 100, if we needed paper, we could go to the linen closet and there would be paper there. And that was also where our pencil sharpener was kept in the linen closet so we could always have our pencil sharp. Anyhow, so I got to thinking, well, maybe she just collects the paper and keeps it safe for writing in. So then I thought, what about if I make her um, I'm uh, sort of like a file folder to keep it in, but I wanted it pretty. I wanted it, I wanted it to be elegant, but not necessarily Christmassy. Um, so then, when I was looking for more kinds of ledger paper, because I have lots of different kinds, um, that's when I discovered this book, and I've already cut it up. See, I got started, and that's when I realized. <gasps> Turn on the camera, Catherine. So let me move the book. 
I got started on it. I cut the front and back cover off of this book that I found at, you know, thrifting. I should actually get some of this paper out and put it in over there. And what I did was I have made, I've started on, I haven't finished it, um, a nice little holder to put that maybe Miss, Mrs. Cratchit, you know, clever. Maybe Robert brought home the half-used little black book and she, you know, got out her scissors and started making making a holder to put her loose papers in so that when she needs loose papers to write a letter to family or something, that uh, it would be, she could keep it in here. And I liked that it was black with gold on it. And uh, I once again made use of the already, um, the already scored edges that are in um, file folders. So this is cut up file folders. And you'll notice if you have old file folders along that one edge are uh, pre-scored lines. So it's, the work's been done for you. And usually, of all the things in a file folder, that's usually the part that, um, that gets tossed away. Usually I just want the flat parts. So I'm making good use of my scores. Now, before I glue it together, and again, that's why I sort of thought, hold on, why don't I have my camera running? So before I glue these and make make it into, because those are gussets, in case you were wondering, it just makes it lie flat if it's empty and gives you more room if it's full. I decided I want to put a book plate on this. I think, oh, it's the wrong way. I think that would look pretty. So I've already put the holes in. I measured, put the holes in where I want it. And at first I thought I should put it this way so that the book goes in and out. And then I thought, no, because I, in a way I want it to look like maybe she made herself a file folder out of an old book. So I liked that. This looks way too pretty and shiny. So I'm going to get out my alcohol inks and grime this up a bit and make it a little bit mucky looking. But then I thought, I want it to, I still want it pretty. <laughs> it's Christmas. I still want it pretty. So then I got to thinking, what about if I put it, put a doily behind it? So I glue the doily down and put the book plate there. I kind of like that. Now I have another book somewhere. Where is it? I have these. I don't know where they came from, but it's they're they're stickers, but you know, we can work with stickers and we could age them. Let's see if there's any else here. So there's only a few left in here. Yeah. So I wonder if that would look nicer than a doily if I put that there. Or maybe Oh, that's rather nice. I like that one. I like these little flowers too. That one's quite nice. Hmm. that one. I think that one is the winner. I wish this one was more balanced. I know that this is sort of an artistic thing, but I wish, I wish it was fully balanced. No, nope. I think, I uh, think I like this one. I like the little red, the little red leaves, the little gold leaves. All right. Maybe this is what we'll do. Let me just cut this one out. Am I cutting two at once? I am. Yeah. 
They didn't leave much room to cut these out. I know what I'll do. I'm going to put it on this side. Let's take this out because it's already been used. And that's got the that's got the unsticky thing. I can put it there temporarily. There. See that one's not it's not centered either. That kind of bugs me. I just realized this side is wider than this side, and maybe it's artistic. But that kind of bugs me. So maybe this is the one I want. Hmm. Let's move you back here. Maybe you're the one that I want to use then. Unless I could trim that, but I don't see how. I don't see how I could. Hmm. I'm still thinking about it. I may still opt for the doily, but I got time. Um, so I'm going to get the alcohol. Hold on, let me find it. There we go. And something to work on. Let me grab the paper I used yesterday. So, now I wonder which one is the darker one and kind of rusty looking. I wonder if it's caramel or I wonder if it's ginger. Hmm. Ginger looks like it's a bit more orangey. So that might be a little more rusty looking. And I'm just going to plop it here and there on here so it kind of looks mucky and maybe I'll use a little melange of all of the colors. Let's do a little of this. I already like that better. It doesn't look quite so brand new. <laughs> that screaming brand new oh that came gushing out there all right let's do a little and that's better just sort of slapping it on here and there getting in along that edge all right let me see So that looks much messier. Find with alcohol ink, if you don't like what you've done, just put some wet on and you can pretty well wipe it off. There, I like that better. I hope that's showing up. Not the best camera in the world. All right, let's put these away. I'm gonna have to make a decision soon. I even got out some of my little crocheted um, doilies, but uh, I think paper is the way to go. But maybe she saved it from something she was able to go to tea and enjoy or something. Hmm. Yeah, is this dry? Yes. So I need to figure out where the center is. Yeah, I think I want to go with my original. I think that black and white and gold looks really nice. This will get used another day. 
All right, so. Let's muck this up a bit because it looks way too. It looks way too. Hold on, I'm looking for my antique linen. Way, way too new. We need it kind of mucky and yellowed and old looking. I don't mind that wrinkle. <laughs> Phew! Thank goodness, because it's wrinkled. Maybe she brought it home. She was finally able to attend a lady's tea or something. And it was so pretty. She tucked it into her purse and brought it home with her. Found a way to include it into her little, her little private lap book. There, that looks, that looks good. Nice and dark. Better. A little bit of lunch got spilled on it. Now, it won't. This in behind won't show unless the new owner takes um, takes the paper out because I'll be putting a new paper, a label inside there well that looks different now doesn't it thank goodness for distress ink all right so now we have to put this back where it belongs i'm using there's the little words there of the maker L laro La Lanero, it's there. So if you're there and you're there, I'm just trying to see where I need something bright. I need a bright color that I'll be able to see. Blue, blue. Oh, that's pencil. <laughs> that doesn't help. Pen. There we go. So I can tell by the pattern on the doily if I've got this centered, and I hope I am still in camera. Blue and blue. Okay, that's good. Now, I need to figure out a way so that I can center this where it's going to need to go through holes. So if you're going to go, if you're going to go there and there, I wonder if I put these backwards. I'm just trying to figure out, you're probably wondering, Catherine, what on earth are you doing? I want to figure out how to get my doily exactly where I want it to be. But maybe if I put, there we go. Some, these are the little brads that I'm going to be using 
to put the bookplace in place. Maybe if I put them sticking out the other way, just for temporarily, that will help me know where I want to plop down this. Hmm, that could work. Now I'm just going to... Oh, okay. Well, I guess that doesn't matter. What am I doing that for? It's so thin. <sighs> All right. Let's move this over so I give myself more room. So, this needs to be... I am going to do my double whammy. I'm going to do glue stick in the center and art glitter glue around a lot of these. I haven't used my art glitter glue yet today, so you know that's when it will be plugged and I'll have the wet glue stick in there drying on me while I realize that this is plugged and then I will start panicking, you know, that my glue stick is going to be drying while I'm trying to get the art glitter glue flowing. Let's see. Yeah, see? Oh, I'm not sure I used this yesterday, so this might have been a while. There we go. Okay, we're good. We're good. All right, glue stick. Oh, I'm going to need another one. Hold on. Let me go get another one. I'm way over here on the other side of my room. And as ever, I'm really glad on days like today that I accidentally ordered 36 of these <laughs> off Amazon. Yeah, by mistake. It came in packages of, what, 18? And um, I must have hit it twice. I Because at first I thought, oh, yay, did I luck out? Did Amazon send me like two? And well, they sent me two, but I, oh, I looked at it and I, yeah, I ordered two. Okay, so let's just do a quick little scribble around the edge. Gotta move fast because it's gonna want to start drying, so don't have a lot of time. I'm just going to squirrel around and hope that some of it hits where it needs to. I'm sure some of it's going on the paper below, but as long as I get a bit, we'll be okay. Shall we do it? So I've got the brads sticking out over here. Let's lift this up and hope I haven't glued it right to the paper. Come on, doily. Yeah, see, look at all that glue sticking out there. All right, oh, 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 my luck, I'll drop it. Where's the words? Oh, that's upside down. All right, so. is tricky. I'm going to feel around for it. This is going to make a mucky mess. I may end up just chucking the whole thing. There. Okay. Okay. We did all right. We did all right. I don't mind that. Let's take these brads out. Oh, it went flying. And we'll pat it into place. There. Oh, it did okay. Sorry, this is jiggling. I've got my tripod up on tripod up on my desk. There. Yay! Okay, it worked. Yes. All right, now. Now to find the brad that I dropped on the ground. Because you know I'm going to step on it. Ah, uh, there we go. All right. Ah, uh, we did it. 
What a really, that's exactly what I wanted. Yes. All right. So, um, here. I've been picking out papers for the little book that's going to go inside. I'm trying to decide. I may use my artistic license and I guess I should, I could have drawn pencil lines. Oh, forget it. <laughs> forget it. Um, I could use my artistic license and just put some fun paper inside that little red book. Yeah, I like that. And as I said, I'm still going to tuck a label in there so that the new owner can put whatever they like onto that. All right, let's just do it. <laughs> These tiny little brads are a dickens to get in. There it is. Got it. Now I'm still going to use a bit of um, distress, distress, I was going to say distress ink, alcohol ink, because those brads are way too nice looking. Now I got to find the hole. Can't feel it on the other side. There it is. I can see my little blue dot that I gave myself. Yay. Come on. Tiny, tiny little things. There. Okay. Okay. There. Um I popped out this morning. I thought I should get, I should pick up some of the little Christmassy things I'm going to need for if we have company come over. Um, things like paper plates and that before they're all sold out. So, so I did that this morning. Now that can still get adjusted a bit if it looks a little bit cockeyed. Sorry. Just... No way. I'm surprised I don't have nightmares of that noise in my dream because it brings me so much unhappiness. I'm wondering if on days where I've got a lot to do, here's an interesting thing that my phone will let me do. It will let me go longer than 30 minutes if I do live. And I'm wondering if I should just go live every day because then YouTube just automatically uploads it afterwards. And then I could actually get a task done. That's an interesting thought. Hmm. Anyhow, I am happy with this. I'm going to put on the back, because this is going to get glued together, you will never see these, but they could get in the way um, with papers going in and out, getting tucked in and out. So I'm just going to put some masking tape on it. Masking tape is a really good uh, studio thing. The good quality masking tape. Not the dollar store kind. No offense to it. But uh, you want to actually go to a hardware store and get the good quality. This is 3M uh, contractor grade. 
if it's not peeled off in three days, it becomes permanent. So that's why it's a nice little option when you're working on art projects. It's not the prettiest, so you only want to really only want to use it where it's not going to get seen. But for this, I don't want papers grabbing on those little those little wings. All right, so well, I'm at thirty minutes. This part's easy, you guys. I'm just going to run glue here, run glue here, and glue it together. And then I'm going to have an awesome little file folder that Mrs. Cratchit can, can put her, you know, if she knows, oh, I want to write a letter, then it's going to be uh, inside her little file folder, and it's going to tuck inside on that one side of her journal. Yay! Thanks for joining me. Have a great rest of your day. And uh, take care. We'll talk again real soon. Hopefully tomorrow. Bye.